video I am going to show you how to create a hello world uh, JS project in uh, NetBeans IDE here we go first uh, go to a new project and uh, select uh, the project as uh, Java web category and inside that select web application so just click next and now just give a project name I'm giving the project name as uh, JS hello world project so let it all others uh, be default uh, just tick this to uh, use dedicated library folder just click next and I'm so taking the server as Apache Tomcat uh, so I already have installed my Apache Tomcat if you are not installed uh, the, if you are new to this just click add and uh, navigate to the location where you have installed uh, the uh, Apache Tomcat like this server location so if you want to install the server uh, Tomcat uh, server just search uh, for Apache Tomcat in Google you will get the, the latest uh, uh, Apache Tomcat 9 and just install it's a normal installation and uh, just uh, take uh, the uh, installation directory here and uh, you can select here now just click next now in the framework section we can uh, select the JS of we are using only JS of here just select JS of uh, Java server faces so I have selected uh, Java server faces and the default configuration let it be all default and uh, the server led URL, URL pattern is uh, will be slash face uh, faces as you can see here now I'm just clicking finish so once you click finish it will take some time to create the files and load your project just wait for some time okay I have created the project as you can see if I'm going to expand uh, the project files uh, it just created uh, the index.xhtml which is uh, the JSO file and there will be uh, my web uh, xml and uh, the default js of uh, libraries and other information okay now uh, next uh, let's go inside to run this for the first time so to run this just right click on the index.xhtml and just click run file So it will start running. It will take some time for the first run. It will take some time. You can see uh, the uh, the information in the output section. It is getting uh, created your first information files. It will also take some time. Okay, it seems uh, uh, our first uh, project has been run for the first time. So you can see it's a printer hello from facelets so this is printing from here hello from facelet now let's uh, do a small uh, task here to uh, uh, give a form and submit their data into another page so this is actually simple work let's go for that so i'm going to create a small form here so it's from uh, namespace h you can see I have uh, there is the namespace declaration here tag library so this is coming from h tag library so it's uh, s dot form so all the HTML uh, HTML tag tags are UI com HTML UI commands are present in the, in this HTML tag library so so inside that I'm going to give a small uh, text box here so it will be it will be input text and uh, I'm giving a command button here so it's uh, it's colon command button so I'm giving a value submit and uh, just giving a value here and a name now let's uh, 
go to the facelift again just refresh this let's see what happened okay so it's uh, coming here hello from facelift and then name and their text box and submit button now i'm giving a breakpoint here now uh I'm going to the source packages and just uh, giving a package here com dot dot com. So here inside this, I'm going to create a JS of managed bean. So I'm just searching JS of managed bean. So just uh, you have to create a JS of managed bean. Just click next. Now we'll give a name uh, to your JS of managed bean. Hello world. I'm giving as hello world just uh, finish it okay I have uh, created the hello world uh, which is actually uh, the JS of managed bean so you, this is uh, a normal uh, Java class itself but we are giving a managed bean annotation to uh, tell uh, the JS so like uh, this can be managed from the JS so far no now I am giving a name for this this name we are giving to uh, giving uh, to tell hibernate that uh, this can be used from uh, the front end JS of pages with uh, this name so you can give any name so I am just giving it as hello world name now I am giving a private uh, string variable so it's a private string name so I'm giving a get essence test for this get name and uh, set name so I have uh, provided the get essence test for this one now I'm going to create a new uh, JS of page here so so in resource packages I'm uh, not here sorry in the web pages section I'm going to create new JS of page so the name of the file is uh, welcome JS of now I'm just uh, finishing that so all others uh, let it be a uh, default I'm just finishing that okay I have created a welcome JS of uh, page here now I am uh, writing a code to receive uh, the output uh, to receive I am actually submitting uh, this form to this welcome.js uh, welcome JS of now I am writing code to, uh, to receive that uh, information I mean uh, receive that form data and print out here now inside this uh, I am going to give an uh, h2 tag so it's will be actually as header I'm just giving a uh, welcome to JS of now again I'm going to H to tear so I'm giving a, a welcome message with uh, the data which is uh, actually submitted from uh, the index page so can see the hello world is coming here the name of uh, the managed bin which we have given the is uh, coming here so I'm giving it as uh, hello world dot name now in the index page uh, for the input text I'm uh, giving a value value tag and uh, I'm specifying, specifying that value as uh, hello world dot name okay so all is set uh, for our testing uh, let's try that uh, going back to my page again let me refresh it so this is our index page actually so I have refreshed it now um, I am giving a name as uh, Gino Java and submit it let's see yes we have missed something we didn't specify uh, the action tag for this one so the action should be to welcome jsof underscore jsof 
okay no need to specify the dot xhtml because it will take automatically let's see again let's try again uh, let me refresh the page now i'm getting a name here and submit the value yes uh, it has been submitted to uh, the welcome uh, js of and uh, the values are printing successfully so that's all for now uh, the hello world application in js of i uh, use in netbeans ide uh, if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and uh, thanks for watching